Hello YouTube, last time we learned about hexadecimals and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to convert from binary, you know, to hexadecimal, you know, well, um, it's not only going to allow us, okay, so let me explain this real fast, there's a reason why people decide to use hexadecimal, because it's easier to convert from binary to hexa, um, hexa, sorry, and then from hexa to decimal, trust me, it might not seem like it now, but from binary to decimal, pretty hard, whereas decimal to binary is pretty easy. Okay, let's just do a real quick problem, practice problem real fast, 87, let's make our table of values, 0 equals 1, 16 equals 16, 16, 2, 256, I tell that's not going to work. How many times does 16 go into 87? Um, goes in there f five times. Okay, so, um, you know, five times 16 equals 80. Okay, so then you're going to have 87, five. And then um, six, uh, what is it? You know, and then you're going to have a remainder of seven, which then, seven, five, one goes into seven, seven times, which means that in 87 equals 57 hexadecimal. You can check it, I know it's right. Um, decimal, 87, and hex, 57, boom. Okay, let's do this real fast. Let's learn how to convert from this to this you know. So let's start with a binary number. Let's start with 9. No, let's start with a harder number. 10. Alright? Or no, we'll do something simple. 6. 6 in binary make your table value values. 6 equals 1 2 1 equals 2 2 2 equals 4 6, you know, 4 goes into 6 once. I have a remainder of 2 um, 1 and then 1 equals 0. You have to go all the way through. You can't say, oh, 2 equals, you know, done. I don't have to worry about 1. have to do it all. So then you have that, right? So 6 equals 0, 1, 0. And we're about to learn why we did this, right? This is going to be really easy. Let's say, um, you know, um, Converting from um, hexadecimal, right, to a binary to hexadecimal, that's really easy. Let's say you had something like this, you know, a really big number, and by convention you separate big numbers through spaces, right? Let's say you had a big number like that. How do you convert this to hexadecimal, right? So you remember this. Well, this is pretty easy. This is a 6. 6, you know. 6. What is this number? And let's convert this from um, binary to decimal real fast. 101 zero, one equals, well, I'm not going to tell you what it equals yet. So if this is the 2 to the 0 power, we know it's going to be 1 times 2 to the 0, which equals 1. And then we know that there's going to be the f 2 to the 1st power, to the second, two to the third. So that's also going to be one times two to the third equals eight. Add them up. This number equals nine. Right here, this equals nine. So we continue our pattern, six, six, nine. What's this number? Let's do the pattern again. Okay, two, one equals two, one times Two to the power of two, because remember zero one two equals four. Add them up, and you got seven. This number in hexadecimal, whatever meant in regular decimal, equals six six nine seven. And you're probably thinking, okay, um, I'm a little confused here. Let's just go into hexadecimal and type in six six seven nine. 
as you can tell in binary 0110, 0110, 0111, huh, actually, oh, well, yeah, never mind, it's 6697, there we go, now it's correct. <clears throat> okay, so what did I do? I basically just went by fours, what does this mean? You know, what, what is this for? Just ignore everything else, what does this mean? That's a six. Okay, ignore everything else, what is that? That's a six. Nor thing else, that's a 9. Nor thing else, that's a 7. You might be thinking, okay, what's the significance of this? How, how come this works? 0, 0, 0 equals 0. 1, 1, 1, 1 equals 15. Or equals F. So let's say we had a number 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. That's basically 6, 6, F, you know. But enough with that, let me explain why this works. So, um, when converting from decimal to binary, you know how to do that. When converting from binary to hexadecimal, hexadecimal is written in a way so that you go for every four digits, which is why if you have something like 1-1, one, one, you want to add two zeros. So when converting from binary to hexadecimal, you can split it up much easier because then that will be a three, you know. You can test that out if you want, you know. So, let's say you have a big number, you know. Oh, big scary. This isn't so bad. You know, split it into fours. And then add z two zeros at the end. And then let's convert it real fast. What's that? That's a two. Because that's two to the power of one times one. Two. What is that? We know that's an eight. We know that's a two. This is an A. Because a plus 2 equals 10, plus 2 equals 10, and hexadecimal, 10 equals a. Refer to the last tutorial if that's confusing. Since we're smart, that's also an a. Since we're smart, that's also an a. And then what is that? That's a 4 plus a 1. That's going to be a 5. And then that's also, if we were to mix this up a little, that's 1, 1, 0. What is that? That's a plus 4, 12 plus 1 equals 13, c. So, let's just get our calculator real fast. And c, okay. So in hexadecimal, let's just see what happens. 2, a, 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 5, c. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, um, and, oh yeah, I forgot, 13, you know, 13 equals D, sorry, that, that's, uh, I, I'm new to this stuff too, I've been only learning this stuff for a couple days, so I'm not that great at it, but, you know, there's not that many great tutorials out there, so I thought I might help, and that's your real quick tutorial too. Converting from binary to hexadecimal and see you later.